Hey guys, may I so playing Origin for the NES? Ah, uh, okay. Currently, I'm starting here, which is actually good because there you can actually go here. <laughs> I noticed in the video uh, that uh, yeah, there was some grasses, some bushes behind that tree there that uh, can be slapped shut. So I'm glad. I'm glad to have stirred here. This is a perfect place for me to start. And God, the freaking music here is so loud. <laughs> At least for me right now. Here, fairy, come hither, come into me when you are already gone and off screen. Uh, where are the stairs? Oh, they're behind that stalactite. I'm actually learning which one is which these days. Now, anyway, where the heck did I want to go? Uh, oh yeah, I got a helpful tip that maybe. Dungeon 2 is over in the Misery Mire region, so let's go ahead and head over there, but first get hit by literally everything around here, and maybe check out, was it in here? Yeah, this room, this, this room, this, or this, this room, this room, I wanted to check if this boulder could be bombed or something, except that... Uh, for some reason, it won't let me place a bomb right there. Maybe that'll work? Okay, I, I don't know, like... For some reason, when I was right here, it would not let me press the button to put it on, but... Uh, I'm out of bombs now, so... Uh, I need to go buy some more bombs, probably, because uh, uh, nothing will probably drop them for a while. So let's go find a shop that uh, contains the bombs. There's also a mini game I can play with the boomerang now, and maybe with the arrows. Yeah, you don't sell what I desire, but you do have a shield. But I can get a shield cheaper elsewhere. Ah. Uh, well, let's kind of wing it for now without bombs and see how far we can get. Okay then. All right, so let's go to the eastern misery lands. Like, if it is like uh, the original Zelda, then Moblins can drop bombs, so hopefully the Moblins around here will drop bombs. Yeah, there's like... Okay, th yeah, those are Moblin Moblins. There's like the Pig Moblins, and then there's the Bull Moblins. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm not really sure. Yeah, there we go, bombs. I'm not really sure how it works and what types exist. But they certainly are around here. And little plants can grow and grant me beautiful things, such as hearts and stuff. And there's some shallows around here. It is quite the miserable mire, quite filled with the sadness that resides in literally everyone's heart who has existed. Because sadness is something that cannot be escaped from, well, forever. I mean, that's, it's like... You can't live forever happy as much as we would want to, right? Right? Maybe I'm wrong. I kind of maybe hope I'm wrong. Oh my golly, see all the happy things? I'm not reading your text because it's too hard to read. How difficult is it to just put a background on the text? It's very easy, actually. Oh god, we're over here now. Oh jeez. Uh, so that leads up to the desert. I, don't, I remember there being a dungeon kind of up a hill in the forest area. Also, I can burn this. Maybe. Like, maybe it can be burned. Maybe not, though. It can! Keys and a chest. I never would have guessed. Cash and a chest. In a vest. With keys in a chest. Oh, let's just kill you just for good measure. Let's miss entirely. Just for good measure. Just, just... Just to make things a little bit more difficult for me. That looks suspicious, but I doubt there's anything there. Get up the stairs, you cretin. Alright, where else is there to go in this miserable pile of mire? This land of sadness, melancholy, unholy rites being read to you out loud in an unsavory manner. This land of favors and less stellar uh, bureaucratic oaths and such. What's over here? Uh, well, maybe it's beyond the Misery Mire is where I wanted to go. Where's this? Zora Lake. Have I been here before? I... maybe. I, I don't have the good map to check, so maybe. Maybe not, though. Uh, oh, it may... no, yeah, I think I remember this area. 
sort of, kind of, not too really, but maybe. If I go back to left, it's probably just Misery Mire again, but let's check, let's check. Oh, no. Wait, maybe up here is... <gasps> the fish cave with the beetle enemy? Could this be Dungeon Lavender Tree? Maybe. Whoa, that, that fish is having some problems locating me with its retinal retinasers there. Now let's go inside. Is this dungeon 2? It is! Level 2. The Crescent. Oh, what is this music? It's... Oh, wait, what? What is this music? It reminds me of something, but I can't really place it. There's a crack in the wall here. So let's go on through. There's like misery mires on the wall here. A key has been obtained. Oh, I remember. This song reminds me of Bray. <laughs> okay, yeah, it reminds me of the the toxic area in Bray. Well, toxic. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but the 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 the, the second area, the second map, the later areas with the boss. You know what I mean. So this is some water here. Are we gonna get the flippers in this dungeon? Is that the dungeon item? The flippage? I forgot the name of the dungeon already also. <laughs> I will remember later, I'm sure. It's just like the name of the dungeons in Zelda anyway, so it's not a huge deal. All right, so that's... Is this a normal lock door or a big key door? Okay, a normal lock door. Let's go on through. Head on through. What, there's like invisible enemies, but you can kind of see them because they're undulating reality itself, or they just have bad camo on one or the other. Are they... what are they? Hands? What? what? It looks kind of like... well, maybe it's keys. Keys or... hands or something, I don't know. <gasps> mold orms! And traps, okay. Be careful about the traps. Don't let the mold orms mold it up and hit you. Oh, okay, you guys take a lot of hits. How about some bombs? Yeah, you don't like that? You scream in pain when you get hit by a bomb? Yes. Oh, I got hit by something there. Probably my own bomb blast because I'm a fool, an idiot, and not clairvoyant in the ways that I wish to be. Alright, Moldorm, it is time for you to be perished. I like the locked doors. Look, they're like barred with wood or something. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I, I kind of, I can dig the different aesthetics in a dungeon. I'm not really sure why there are invisible foes about that are not really invisible. I don't know if they'll be easy to see in video or not. Uh, I, oh, I didn't even notice you. Yeah, maybe they are easy to see in video and I'm just stupid. There's another bomb of a wall here. Let's go ahead and go and see what I can find. Oh, a chest. More invisible foes. Yeah, those look like hands coming out of the walls. Man, why are they... How do you achieve this kind of effect on enemies? I have no idea. Like, in this engine, I have absolutely no idea how that works. But more keys is good. Stairways over yonder, also good. That is suspicious there. I think that's just torches behind the trees. Not really anything to sneeze about. Oh! The holy! The abhorrent! The nasty! The crazy! The... The cross? Uh, I don't even know what that does. Does that make invisible enemies visible? I suppose maybe eventually we'll find out. <laughs> Does that do that? I don't know. Well, I suppose if we never encounter any more invisible enemies, that will answer my question. But does it do what I suspect it does? I don't know yet what's over yonder. Okay, more chests. Okay, there's a key probably in that chest over there. And, well, I don't know, maybe not, but there's a bomb wall down there that I used to get to that chest, most likely. Hey, I want you to die. There you go, but you didn't do anything for me. All right, let's go. Jeez, oh, I wonder where the map is. Probably would be handy to have by now. I don't remember the layout of any of the dungeons in Zelda so much, pretty much at all. Oh, dungeon two is, I don't know, the snake. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I forgot to look earlier, so I'm just gonna be, you know, kind of stupid and not really knowing. Anyway, maybe it's the fish because we entered a fish face to get inside here. Unless it's supposed to be, you know, not a fish, but a wish. Let's bomb this wall and see where we end up now because I need a key. 
but that is not the thing that I had. So instead we will just pound some dudes into dust. The Goria. Gory Joe. Oh, maybe there's an item to be gotten in here because there's a little pedestal for an item. Yes! A key, 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 key. Yeah, I'm starting to have my doubts about the whole flippers thing. But maybe it could be. Oh, there's... Okay, cultists, as some might call them in weird universes. Like the reality that we live in now. But there is a staircase there. Oh, what? What is this? Could that be? The magical boomerang? Wow, it looks pretty awesome in this game, actually. I like the little gem it has in the middle there. So I can either go there to get to that staircase or continue up here to... 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 Oh, is that big key? It looks exactly the same as the small key door, does it not? Is this just a fake door? Well, call me confused and apple fritters. Let's go the other way. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, that's fine, probably. Heekle boomerang, though. It's pretty swell. So... Yeah, I can go in here. I, I don't know what that means. What is that thing in the corner there? It looks looks like a, an acorn, sort of. If an acorn looked extremely odd. Yeah, I... I don't know, but anyway, we probably want to push some blocks onto some buttons here. Except there are... Okay, one of these blocks is dark and the other one is light. What does that mean? It means I can't not push this block. Uh... Oh! Okay. Hitting that with the magical boomerang, of course, triggered uh, this block turning into that. That, that makes sense. Yes. Okay. Oh boy, so we really are playing Beret right now because this is a puzzle that needs to be solved. And Beret had some of those sometimes. Alright, I'm just gonna you know, push this block up. And then this one over here. And this one maybe even over there. <clears throat> maybe I screwed up. In fact, I think I screwed up because I think I need this vertical block to be up here. Maybe. That... Maybe is the case. Maybe. Because I don't know how I would push. Yeah, no, I think I've screwed that up. Okay, well, let's try again. That's why there are multiple tries for every occasion. Do not blend what you cannot fathom. Or else you will be bruised by the ancient gods and deities of hell. You will not know what hits you anymore. Uh. Oh, wait. I have an idea. Maybe. Just maybe. 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 If I push this up and this one over and push this even more on Clover, eventually we can push that switch and open the door to the stairs. Let's go down. Oh, oh, oh! Look who's found the bass key from countering all the basses in here. Nice! So I'm assuming that big key will open that door that was locked up there for no particular reason. Well, let's find out. I still don't have the compass or the map, which is kind of weird considering how deep into the dungeon I've gone. I guess I went like the exact correct way somehow. Ah, uh, sure, why not? I still would like those things, though, just in case there's some, like, another dungeon item I missed somewhere or something. Some dungeons have two in this game, and I don't remember which ones this one had inside before. Ah, uh, oh, whoa, okay, okay, it's Dodongo. I didn't hear the sound of him screaming, so, uh, so Dodongo dislikes me. Uh, I'm gonna run into bombs and die. That's what's gonna happen. That is pretty much exactly what is gonna happen. You can hit him when he's stunned from the smoke, except only if he actually gets stunned from the smoke is the problem. Come on, just eat my bomb. Eat it! There we go. Alright, I gotta make sure to do this right. Don't have very many bombs left. I don't know how many bombs it takes. It's either two or three or hopefully not four. Eat it, 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 eat it. Eat it. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Well, that answers that question. We defeated level two already, somehow. Okay. 
got a piece of Triforce here. You can't stop Link. He's gonna defeat you with his boom spams. Alright, well that is nice and dandy and all that, but uh, I didn't find the map and compass and I want to explore and see if I can find the map and compass. So, yes. So if I just head straight up, what will I find? Oh, another, is this another push puzzle where you just have to push that one block in a weird way? Because that would make some sense. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? Yeah! It's always the same! Because this is Zelda 1. And every puzzle is pretty much exactly the same. <laughs> uh, except when they bother to get a little unique. Hmm! Useful item! <laughs> just the compass. Great! Amazing! Hmm, I wonder where Dungeon 3 is. Hmm. Alright, which way did I go from here? I did not go right. And so right I shall become. Ow. Oh, I see. They throw magical boomerangs now. Or did they always? I don't know. I. Ow. I, ow. Can I not block the magical boomerang? Because that's. That seems a little rude. But manageable. Alright, let's go right. There is a. There's a trap. A projectile shooter there. Yes, it does not behave at all like the ones in Link to the Past for some reason. It is a unique variant of the shooter types that we're all familiar with. Now, Waldmeisters, come here. Come here. Come here. Don't be shy. Oh, thanks for the rupees. <laughs> Alright, let's bomb this wall here. And make our way through. <gasps> what could be in here? The map, you say? You say I've been everywhere in the dungeon? Uh, except no? Wait a minute. What the heck? Are the areas up top off the map or something? Because I totally have been everywhere. What the? What's the deal, game? What's, what's the deal? Uh, do I even bother investigating why that is or not? Well, let's let's bother to investigate why that is the case Yeah, invisible enemies are indeed visible now. Yeah, 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 I did get two items in this dungeon. I'm stupid well, I guess I don't really count the cross because crosses are useless to me <laughs> Like they were invisible, but you you could clearly see them so, whatever game, whatever. Oh, I see. This area is on a different map. Probably because of the music change or something. Ah, uh, okay. A uh, different D map, I should say, probably. Okay, okay. That makes sense, but it's a little clunky, but but it makes sense, it makes sense, I understand. And confirmation that those warps do indeed work in that kind of way. Okay, so with the magical boomerang and the, the cross in hand, we can now, of course, do everything in this game. Everything. Everything. Well, there's still a little bit more time in the video that I can, you know, pad out with content here. So let's kind of wander around and see if I can find some more heart pieces. Do I have enough for the white sword yet? Probably not. What do we have here? Some Armos in the field? What? I don't believe this. There's gotta be a super secret hidden in one of these somewhere. Not here, though. Here? Here! Oh! A cash cave, probably. Just a cash cave? Is that all that's gonna be here? Yeah, these caves are always just for cash, and that's pretty much it. Well, okay, well, that's. It's kinda lame, but. Not unexpected. It's this game, after all. We cannot expect the riches that we desire. Wait, yes, we can. But we cannot expect progress when we desire it either. Yeah, there's like a beach over here, and a house over here, apparently. Uh, is this a shop? Just kind of in the woods here. Maybe they sell some goodies? Maybe a shield I would buy now, probably? If it's cheap? Oh, that is expensive. I'm not gonna buy that shield. 
I saw another one for 90. Uh, oh, what did you say? Is that Marin? Marin, what are you selling? Some call me an outdoor bumpkin. <laughs> okay. Well, that's, that's, that's great to hear. Glad you've got yourself sorted out here, Marin, uh, in the woods here. If that even is Marin, it looks like her. Maybe it's not actually her, though. Her hair was, like, way too yellow to be Marin's. Anyway, uh, oh, there's a bombable crevasse here that I can bomb. It is bombable. So let's go ahead and pound it open and see what meaningless reward is... Oh. Level 8. The Lion. Like, this music is Forsaken Fortress. F dash two of two. Okay, flight floor. Is it? Does that have multiple floors or something? Oh geez. Okay, so we know where Dungeon Eight is now. We're we're not gonna go there for a while, probably. Quite possibly. Uh, let's instead just kind of look around, see if there's anything I can do anywhere else around first before ending. This video. Oh, look, there's another bombable thing here. I almost didn't even see it. <laughs> spikes! Gas planet! I can't believe there's spikes in here. Better not get hit by them. Oh, jeez, dangerous. More cash. Okay. Well, I think at some point I'm gonna buy that shield. I just don't know when. So I think up here leads to the desert, which I am not so sure I want to go to yet, but... Uh... I don't... I don't know how to get further to the right. Oh, no, I can go up here. Okay, I can probably get further to the right up here. Also, this tree... Suspicious? Can I go inside? I can! <gasps> A cash room! This is my new house. This is my book, where I'll put all my diaries and secrets. And this is my ch shovelry, which I will put all my cutlery inside, yes, and a dead plant, because... Two dead plants, because I am a horrible, horrible plant caretaker. Anyway, yes. Let us peruse this eastern area of Hyrule, if I may. Now, how do I get over there? See, yeah, Flippers seems like a likely story here. A likely story. But maybe there's other things that are even more likely than the flippers, like the ability to walk across water utilizing a ladder of some kind. Could be. That seems a little too far-fetched for me, though. Yeah, I think here we're at the western, eastern side of the world. So hopefully there'll be cool stuff for me to find at the southern beaches and stuff like that. The southwestern, east, e east and west. How do you even distinguish the two? They're basically the same thing. Yeah, so that's that one. That's where you get that one heart container normally. Yes, yes, I, I see and understand. Ow, I wish I had the shield to deflect against Zora's fire here. Sadly, it is not to be made, to be made, to be stuffed. So what's inside this shop here? This building? Is it a shop shop or is it a uh, the Knight's Lodge? <laughs> Well, it's not really a lodge, it's a cave, but I've got my shop. No, I will not buy anything from you because you have overpriced inflated prices. Let's see what's over to the left here. What could be here besides Hyrule? A bunch of holes and a fairy? Oh, I see there's a bomb place down there if I took the secret path to get in here. And by taking this awesome not secret path, I get over here. Oh, I could have gone over here. So, okay, I'm... And noticing that you can go behind stuff is kind of an important life skill in this game. You need to be less stupid at times, I think. That would help. I think that could even massively help my chances at survival in this game. Alright, anyway. Let's go behind the trees and bomb a, a residential area. Yeah! A me dungeon. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 traps, hidden in the traps, run. Uh, congratulations on finding me. As a reward, you can pay me to upgrade your bomb bag by a further four more bombs. How's that sound? That sounds fantastic. 
Thanks for the upgrade, Mr. Wizrobe. Kind of looking guy. Nice. That was worth finding. Now watch out for the traps. Can I go inside here? Yes, and get myself maimed in the process. A very worthwhile thing to do. Let's keep on exploring the southeastern shores of Hyrule. While dodging all the greens. It's just a beach. Is there anything of worthwhile here? This? No? Just more crabs and healing? Okay, okay, okay. Maybe you can burn coconuts? I'm not trying because that sounds stupid, but that might be the case. Hmm. Just don't see any vulnerable things. I don't believe it. Oh, oh, oh! See, I couldn't believe it. There had to be vulnerable places on the beach. You have money. You play. We gamble. Sabrosians. Well, let's gamble. I lost money. And it doesn't even... It's not even really that worth it. You just gain... 10 rupees back, so it's... It's like double your money, but... Not quadruple your money or anything, or... Or quadruple losing your money or anything. Not worth it unless I'm gambling my entire life away. Okay, so it looks like I either need... A feather or a ladder to get across that hole. I don't know... A feather is utilized in this game. I remember reading that it said like every item in Zelda Classic by default is used, but I don't know how true that is. Let's try bombing that. Oh, yeah, I can buy super bombs actually. There was a shop that sold them. I maybe I should go purchase a few of those because this won't work, right? Yeah, no. Okay. Hmm. Might be a good idea. Maybe. Maybe. Did I ever go down here? I do not think so, but I don't think there's anything I can do here. Ow. What's this? I think there's a maybe a piece of heart behind that tree down there, but I need, of course, the rock brisket in order to lift that rock. Okay. Hmm. There we go. No, no, don't go... Oh. Let's try that again. Yeah, why does he move down as soon as you enter? That's weird. Okay, so one super bomb. I'd like to buy a couple of those, actually. Did I really even explore around here very well? Like, did I ever go up here? No. This is where that fairy fountain is that I was thinking of. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, there's a bush here I can burn. <laughs> oh, yeah! Stuff! Oh, jeez. Well... Oh, I see. There's, like, buttons you can press to lower the spikes here. It looks like... Yes, just switch them up a bit. I see how this works. You just want to go around... Maybe not touching certain spikes and then hitting the wrong button and then not being entirely sure actually how to get over here except it's actually really easy. How much is that? Was oh, that 50 purple rupee? Nice! Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird development here. Oh, whatever, this is wasn't that hard, just a little weird. Nice. Now where's that discount shop? Even though I don't really need a discount anymore. Oh, there's more stuff to burn here, I guess. This episode's kind of going on too long with the exploration, but maybe with editing it will be not that long, maybe? More enemies in an empty room? Will anything even appear when I kill them? Or will it be another legitimately empty room? Hmm, these rooms are getting a little bit weird. I guess they're- what? Why would they exist for no reason? Except to exist for no reason. Maybe to get your health back if you want to get your health back? I, I, I don't know. Ah, yeah, there's a burnable bush here. I think I couldn't burn this one before because I ran out of magic power, but now I can get through and will it be another room of not being able to accomplish much? I certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. It's seeming very likely. Ah, yeah! Well, maybe I will bomb a little bit in here. Maybe over 
here. This is weird, man. Just weird, but okay. Whatever. I think this was a mini game. Is this the yeah the boomerang mini game? Hmm. Let's give this a try. Uh, game here. Hit the target with your boomerang within the time limit. I I think I have the boomerang required for this. Yeah, let's, let's give it a shot. Get the medallion! Does that let me go pass through here? It does. All right, game start. Okay, here we go. Oh geez, what do I have to do? What? Oh. Uh, oh, I think I, I was, that, that was confusing. I think I understand now. <laughs> you have to hit like the target that is bigger than the other ones, but I didn't know. Ooh, I thought I would be hitting enemies or something, but uh, no, it's it's a lemons or something. Let's hit those lemons. Hit it. Okay, now it's this one, that one, this one, this one, uh, that one. No, hit it. There we go. That one. This one. That one. This one. That one. That one. Did I win? Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> Easy. And we got three quarters of a heart now, I think. Nice. And two pieces of the dry floor. Sweet. I'm glad the mini games are not horribly difficult. Because uh, I know Zelda kind of likes to make its mini games sometimes abhorrently difficult for no particular reason. Was it you? Was it this shop? Was it you, this shop? Yeah, here's a discount shield. Sweet. Maybe I should buy a fish too. Oh jeez, but not that one, that one's expensive. I am... <laughs> I'm a miser. <laughs> Alright, level three. Let's get it on. And by get it on, I mean next time maybe get it on. I'm hoping that maybe by exiting from there I can start here next time, but if not, that's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so yeah, see you guys next time for when we head into Dungeon 3 and actually finish it possibly this time. For real. Well, won't that be a shocker? See you guys then.